Hi there, okay, so in this example we're doing a reflection, okay, so consider the diagram below and plot the points A, X in B, X in C, X in D, and D, X in the image of A, where A is 3, 1, okay, let's just decide which one that is, okay, uh, 3, 1, that means this one is A, that one is A, um, let's stick to red so as not to get confused okay so that one is a b is the point five negative three that means that one is b c is the point neg uh, sorry one negative five one and negative five that's c so surely the last one negative five negative one this must be d now they tell us that these points um is the reflection about the x-axis okay uh, so the image the image is the reflection in the x-axis. So there we have our x-axis. Okay, that's our x-axis. And when we reflect, we take the perpendicular distance, in other words, that distance, and we translate it to the other side. Okay, so this is one dis one unit upwards. So we're going to go one unit downwards from there. Then this one is three units down. So we must go three units up. Okay, so let me just call it as well this is a accent that is now b accent for c was from uh, is below the x-axis is five units below the x-axis so we're going to put it five units above the x-axis and then d is five units below uh, sorry one unit below the x-axis so we're going to put it one unit above the x-axis so you'll see the only thing that changed in every circumstance was actually just the y coordinate the x stayed the same okay so this stayed x but the y changed from being below to being above or being above to being below so only the the real thing that changed is the sign instead of y being one it was now negative one instead of y being negative three it now became positive three instead of negative five positive five instead of negative one positive one okay so we connect these dots They, they connect it. This one was C accent, that one was D accent. Okay. There you go. It's a little bit skew lines, not straight lines, but you'll do it with a, a ruler and yours will be straight. And once again, I want you to notice that we are. Uh, what we can see is that the shape is still the same, the size is still the same. Now, if you look yourself in the mirror, your left hand would look like your right hand and your right hand would look like your left hand um, in the sense that, um, uh, yes, things are reversed. Is that, that's what I'm trying to say. So even though things are reversed here, the shape hasn't changed. Okay, You don't all of a sudden look fatter just because you look in a normal mirror. Um, your shape doesn't change when you are reflected. The size doesn't change either. Okay, so it is important to know that this is also a rigid transformation reflections are also rigid transformations cool that's me for this video next video a little bit more complicated example than this see you there